Welcome back, Aaron here, Simon Says Farms. Nothing fancy today, another one take wonder. I got a couple things I wanna talk about. Just a few. Water, drink more water. That's what I wanna talk about. We should all drink more water. I woke up with a massive headache today. One of the worst I've ever had. And then I went and thought about yesterday. I'm like, what did we do yesterday? And I'm like, oh my gosh, we did that. We did that. We drove Jake to work. We picked up Jake from work. We drove Olivia to gymnastics. Mom did like so much going on. And then I was like, what did I drink all day? Oh my gosh. The only thing I drank all day long was my coffee in the morning. I cannot recall drinking anything else. We built a wall down in our lotion manufacturing area. Like we said, that whole closet project is underway. We built a wall down there. So we got a lot of that sheetrock type work going on. I'm gonna put you guys down up here. Look at this, I think I found a temporary, almost tripod-like. Oh, look at that. We're in House of Pie, hanging out with the big goats. Tyler came and did House of Pie this morning. Everything looks good inspect what you expect that was a saying we used to have back in the verizon days inspect what you expect i expect him to sometimes not do it right and it's fine we've got a little water in the outside trough but a lot of water in the inside we hope to someday it's on the plans but i still want that boat and no i'm never going to stop talking about the boat if you don't like me talking about the boat you might as well unsubscribe and leave now because it's just a passion something we've always wanted to do and it's official Oh, let me go back because there's a real ADD. Gutters on this barn and then the gutter drops the water down into the trough. So it's kind of like an autofill style. Let's put you down here. See if this will work. Let's see if we can go right here. Oh, look at that. Now you get a better view of some goats. So yeah, that's what we were thinking. Mm -hmm. Gutter so we can um, collect some of the water into it. I don't stop the video. Jeez, you stopped the video or ruined. It's a one take. I'm not editing. So yeah, gutters possibly inspect what you expect. Make sure Tyler does it right. He did good. They're going to go fishing today, kayaking, all that stuff. That's their plan. Um, yeah, a lot going on. I didn't drink enough water. Drink a lot of water. So that's that. Can you guys stay away from my phone? Okay, this is not working. Going back up here. That way they can, they can't reach it. Oh, dude, they can't reach it. Oh my gosh, are we still recording? Oh wow, we're still recording. This is ridiculous. This is why nobody watches. Back to the whole like me comparing myself to others. Huge props to uh, um, Justin Rhodes. Amazing. I don't know if you guys watch him. You can go watch him after you watch me and then come back. Maybe tell the algorithm that Justin Rhodes people should watch my stuff. Um, he just did a one take wonder. This goat's trying to push me over. A few months ago or weeks ago, he edits all his videos really, really good style. Like, But he's every day. He goes every day. And he's been going every day for over three years. He's got over one point something million. I don't know if I talked about him once before. But definitely an inspiration there. I don't know if I'm going every day for years, but so far it's fun. But only with the one take wonder style is it fun because I could throw these in here and fill in the blanks. So where was I at? We talked about the gutters to collect water, maybe someday, but right now it's every penny is being saved because this dream, we're going to try to make it a reality. Um, what else? Where was I going? Oh, so yesterday, speaking of boat, yesterday, both Ty both all of us, Tyler, not all of us, Tyler, myself, and Jace completed our three-day Connecticut boater safety course, and we all passed. We all now officially have our boater's license, and we're safe, and we know what we're doing. We were in three days worth of schooling, 60-question, multiple-choice test. Tyler was panicking, anxiety all this and the instructor allowed me to read the words that he couldn't read so it was all good we all passed amazing we all now have our boater's license which is super cool now they won't stop looking at little boats you saw their little project yesterday if you watched yesterday's go-kart video they moved from the racing lawnmower because the transmission could not handle racing which we knew that all racing lawnmower people usually swap their transmission out 
from a racing lawnmower transmission to something else. We haven't, we don't have the budget to buy one of those right now because they blew their budget. They didn't blow it. They shifted gears and went with the go-kart and the go-kart's working great. They, they have, they're riding it. We actually just upgrade a part on it two weeks ago within their budget, that $500 budget from our sponsor and us. We, uh, they've had a good time and now we're about to put Quinn on the go-kart. It's coming soon. Quinn really wants to drive it. It's fast though. It does like 17 miles an hour and it could go up to almost 27 if you, that's fast. Um, so that's that. But now because they have their voter license, they are looking at, and don't, don't fear. They are not allowed to touch the boat without a life jacket on. I don't even care if the boat's still on the land. If you're getting ready to launch your boat and put it out in the water, oh my neck, you get your life jacket on. So they they keep looking at all these little John boats, aluminum boats. They want to go up to Cabela's and Dick's Sporting Goods and just keep their on Facebook Marketplace sending me boat links all the time. Now they're trying to convince me to sell the go-kart and the riding lawnmower to buy a boat. I mean, that's what happens when it's 90 out. They won't like the boat in the winter. So that's that. That's our boat conversation. Our goats. Boats and goats. That's the title of the video now. Boats and goats. Goats are all looking good over here. Super fat and happy, though. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Hello. Hello. Let's widen that a little bit. Yeah, that might not look fat, but when you feel... This is normal dairy. Don't touch my water. We just talked about this. Drink lots of water. So a dairy goat's supposed to have the hips, guys. Hips are supposed to be seen on a dairy goat. Then the rib is supposed to be seen. But when you feel, you, you don't... You don't really feel in between each rib because it's all full of fat. Good job, Thor. Yes, you look good too. You do. Should we check your teeth? Teethies. They don't have teeth on the top. Teethies. Oh, you should brush. You should brush. Yeah. I'm just kidding. How about you? You got a weird looking horn. You gonna knock that thing off? You gonna knock that off? It's wiggly. I know I touched it the other day. Yep, it's wiggly. Oh, you're talking a lot. And then who else is in here? Oh, you guys are just eating. They are happy eating. Oh, let's clean the lens. There we go. There they go. All right, so we talked about goats and boats. We talked about Justin Rhodes and going every day. I do enjoy every day. I think I'm gonna continue it for a very long time blow up the channel i'm just kidding that's not gonna happen but we talked about the gutter we talked about the fact that we all have our boaters license mom is really doing a good job with her flowers new flower garden coming soon uncle kevin will get on that eventually oh there she is look at that i just talked about it look at this let's see if we can get there ready you can't really zoom in this far on a phone but look at her go i don't know what she's doing it might be some little toy things that her and Olivia have in there. Fairy garden stuff. They have fairy garden stuff in there, but then she also weeds it all the time. And like, it's it's a fun pro. It's kind of de-stressing, I think. To me, I'm like, that flower stuff takes forever. I'm in the goat bar and she's out doing flower stuff. But she's like, yeah, no, I like it. It's quiet time. Nobody's watching me. I don't have cameras on my flower garden, which it's not that we don't like you guys. It's just she wants to know that if she picks her nose, nobody sees it. Not that she picks her nose. Just in general, it's nice to have an area where you know you can work on your little project, your little hobby, and know not people are watching. Uh, so that's it. That's flower garden stuff. Okay, there's one more. Big one. Now, it's going to overlay pictures here, but you might see it somewhere else, but I'm not editing, so that's not happening. Jake got his first paycheck yesterday. We have a picture of him holding it up, smiling. Gig giddy, you know, remember, it's volunteer with a little bit of money. Um, so it's very low, like $5 a day. No, a little more than $5 a day. Like $10 a day. A day. $10 a day and his full days. But he's enjoying it. He's loving it. It's perfect. He's doing what he loves. He's playing with these kids. He's going fishing and hiking and playing basketball and like rock climbing. He's doing things I never thought he would do. And he's not doing it for the money, which is amazing. So hopefully he goes from intern to next year, full, full on camp counselor or whatever. 
and he can get the money so we can get the driver's license and the car and do all that kind of stuff. So that's super exciting. But what's even more exciting is we saw his report card. We actually opened it. We didn't open it when it came in and we opened it the other day. He's an A student. And I don't care about A's, B's, and C's. I care that you put in 100% effort and you try and you don't give up. The grading system's stupid. I don't care about that, especially dyslexic, people that have trouble learning the way the schools want you to learn. We've never told our kids they have to be A students, never once. Don't really care about it. I'm a C and D student. If you look at my high school transcript, C and D, garbage student. He's an A student now. In the school he's in now, not that they made it easier, they just teach him in a way that's easier. And the class size is like five kids and two teachers. He's an A student. Tyler's even like a C and B student. Amazing. We can't be more proud. This, uh, this heat is ridiculous. This, this lack of supplies for us to make our lotion, driving me crazy. And I don't know what else to say. So that's it. There's a happy Friday. Enjoy the day. We got some goat snuggling happening this afternoon. We do plan on going live Q&A soon but we might do it completely make sure you subscribe to our other channel hit the bell if you can follow us on facebook anywhere even our text platform because we may have to because we're so busy and things are so crazy and the new computer is not set up for the uh studio i gotta check your horn bud okay it's wiggly um the new computer we got one but we haven't even really set it up to the new studio yet. Drink lots of water. You know what I learned too in a boating class? This was interesting. So you got all this water here, what? 16 ounces, because this is a big cup, right? When you're on a boat and you're in the sun and the heat is getting to you and you're out there and you're like, oh my God, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. And you oh, glug, 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 and you down the whole thing. That's actually not as effective on your body to keep you hydrated as just doing this like every 20 minutes, every 15 minutes, just a little sip. One 12 ounce bottle of water should last you like two hours. You take like two ounces, another two ounces, right? You go through eight ounces in an hour and then another, see like an hour and a half to two hours. One little 12 ounce bottle of water, not glug, 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 because of the way your body works. I didn't know that. They're like, stay hydrated because the sun will kill you, basically, if you, uh, don't stay hydrated and you're out in the ocean and you, you know you just got the sun beating on you but yet you're not yeah so that's my hydration my hydration station no no hydrate what okay we're gonna go now that's it that's it i don't even know what i talked about other than goats and boats bye